Hey, Flaming Chickies, it's the episode that no one asked for. It is PSA, Is It Worth It, Seedra. Um, I don't think Seedra is a very popular Pokemon, but believe it or not, Seedra, depending on which card and if it's, you know, which rating, does hold value. Uh, I know it's been a little while since I've made an episode, but I did promise I would make uh, one soon, and I've got this. Uh, I did have some eBay stuff come in. I'm probably not going to do some videos on it. Um... I'm kind of tired of doing the eBay polls. I kind of would rather just talk about the content of buying and selling. Um, if I have something really extraordinary come in through eBay, uh, we'll talk about it. Uh, the only thing I've had going on via eBay actually is I've ran into a lot more scammers lately. Um, that's neither here nor there. This is the episode of PSA Is It Worth It? Cedra. So let's get right down to it. So what do I know about Cedra myself of PSA Is It Worth It? Well, I have a PSA 10. Um, Seedra, Japanese Misty Seedra Hollow. Uh, granted, it's ja it's the Japanese version, which if you don't know from my previous videos that you find out, is most Japanese cards are worth less than the English cards, or at least, you know, of course, in the American market, um, which if you're watching this video, it's probably the market you're going with. But however, I do have a PSA 10 Misty Seedra Hollow um, from 1998. These go low end 40 bucks, mid end 50, high end. I haven't seen them sell for this much, but I've seen asking price all the way up to 80 bucks. It might seem ridiculous, but it is a PSA 10 card. It is hollow. It is a gym, uh, a gym, uh, a challenger card, whatever you want to call it. It is a gym owner's card. Um, it's a pretty cool card, really. It's a very actually, like, almost like, I don't want to mess with that Cedra sort of card. Um, I haven't seen all of Cedra's cards, but this is probably um, one of my favorites, actually, of the ones that I have. I can't find the rest of my Cedra cards. I'm a little bit disorganized right now as we continue to move into our new house. Um, but without further ado, we'll continue to proceed forward with the rest of the video. So... Two of, the, two of the five of these are actually eBay pulls. This was a Facebook pull. Uh, I, I bought these in stores when I was a kid from PAX, and these were actually two eBay pulls. So we'll skip into this one. So it's the same, you know, seizure card here, except it's in English and it's not PSA rated, and it's a year newer because of the symbol, um, or it might be two years newer. I can't remember if it's a 1999 symbol or 2000 symbol but it's a newer version as the english version so without being psa rated as is near mint uh this card goes for um eight bucks and that's non-pre-release believe it or not the pre-release the cards that will say pre-release right here actually seem to go for less for some reason i would have figured pre-release cards would have gone for more but they go for less than the non pre release card. So this card, as is, goes for eight to 10 bucks. Um, now, if you store a PSA eight, it goes for 20. So, I mean, generally, it's about, you know, with shipping and a PSA rating cost, you're paying 10 bucks, you're kind of making 10 bucks more than what it would have been. It's not really worth it. Now, if you hit PSA nine, it's 35 bucks. And then, if, of course, you hit, if you hit PSA 10 with this card, it goes into the low $60 range up to the $90 range. Um, so this one, for me, looking at it, uh, I haven't pulled it out of this extra plastic wrap it has, but it really looks like it could store a PSA 10 um, in person. I know camera kind of shows some extra scratches, but that's really just the cases. Um, to me, this one's going to be worth it. Uh, if it hits a 9, still worth it. If it hits a 10, absolutely even better. Um, I'll move that out of the way. Move into the next one. So this is the big hitter out of all of these, of course, besides my current PSA 10. Um, so the reason why this one's a big hitter is it has that first edition symbol right there. And so if you guys aren't tracking, that first edition symbol is a multiplier to any card. The only other multipliers is holographics and shadowless. Um, shadowless is only in base set one though. So yeah, you can't have shadowless in anything else unless they decide to remake that. And I really hope they don't ever remake that because that's supposed to be just that classic. That's what makes it so collectible. So 
This card as is unrated is about 25 bucks. I couldn't find a PSA 8 rating, granted I didn't look super hard. I couldn't find a PSA 8 rating for this card, but PSA 9s go between 100 bucks and 170. So a quick sale would be 100 bucks. Um, a long sale, you'd be asking 170. Uh, I, I think it's fair to ask between 125 and 150 for this card. Um, just because it's first edition, and if, you know, PSA 9 first edition hollow, that's pretty good, especially for an older card. Um, I know this isn't the oldest of all the cards, but, and I don't think it's, it, it definitely won't get a PSA 10 because there is, there is an itty bitty thing of whiting on the corner. You can see it now. Um, I think that's the only whiting, and that's the only visible defect that I see, so it probably has other visible, it has other defects that the PSA um, will catch. So this would probably get eight to nine. It'd be nice if it gets a nine because it definitely jumps the value up by four to five times the amount even more than that yeah even more than that around six times the amount um so yeah if you get a first edition mr seizure in really good condition absolutely worth psa rating it um i highly suggest it that's my plan for this one and my non-first edition one that i showed you we're going to jump into uh seizure aquapolis version so i think the real reason why this um, Seedra is only worth a couple of bucks is because Kingdra exists for this version. So if you don't know, Kingdra wasn't always around. Uh, there isn't a Kingdra uh, for this version. Um, and there isn't Kingdra for this version, if I'm correct. Um, and then I also don't think there's a fossil Kingdra. Uh, don't quote me on that. I haven't, you know, really collected Kingdras. But um, some Pokemon series just... Some Pokemon didn't have their other evolution for a while. Um, I think Seedra's one of them. But I do know there's an Aquapolis Seedra, a Kingdra, because I have it. But this one, as is, goes for about two or three bucks. And it was, I didn't really, really didn't find any PSA information on this one. Um, there is PSA information on this one where it has that reverse hollow effect. And those go for a good bit. If they're like nines and tens, if they're tens, they go for like 125. Um, so yeah, this one absolutely isn't worth PSA rating it. Uh, just kind of sell as is. Um, you know, you're not gonna get your two or three bucks unless it's in at least like this condition. Uh, if it's below that, I mean, use it as a playable card, I guess, or just keep it for your own personal collection. Um, I mean, it will eventually go up in value, but just remember that Cedra isn't a Charizard. It's not a Pikachu. It's not a Raichu. It's not a starter of any type. Seedra's not just, it's not going to skyrocket in value um, unless they like make a separate series for Seedra. Um, so yeah, as I said, this is the episode no one asked for, but I decided I was going to do it anyways because um, I had those Seedras coming in. Um, this Seedra, Fossil Seedra, um, as is, goes to one to two dollars, and once again, there's no PSA data. There's PSA data for if it's a first edition of this card. Um, they go between 14 and like 50 bucks depending on the PSA rating. That's between the 9s and 10s. So yeah, this one, as is non-first edition, absolutely not worth PSA rating as a buyer-seller. Um, if you're a hardcore collector, then yeah, it's worth it. Just that the PSA is the ultimate version of collecting, in my opinion. Um, it's just a really nice thing to have. Uh, I mean, they're, they're just... I like how people call them slabs and stuff, PSA cards, because they... They really are. They're like their own separate entity. They're, they're beyond top loader. Um, that, that's just what makes them so special and also the official rating. Um, so yeah, this Cedra Fossil, absolutely not worth rating. Sell as is. Put into a case for yourself. Um, maybe one day it might go up in value, but it's very unlikely. So that's all the Cedra cards I can find on the quick. And I'm trying to do some other episodes. Um, Hoping maybe to follow up with maybe probably like Clefairy or maybe even Raichu or something. Um, I'm hoping to knock out another episode tonight. If you aren't tracking, and shout out to the people who have been pushing it out. Um, I noticed that I'm about to hit 40 subs, but as I said, the giveaway doesn't hit again off till 50 subs. So we've done giveaways in the past. Check those videos out. Uh, Finished Pokemon Brothers won twice in a row. Then code name Code One. And we're still looking for another winner, but we aren't doing a giveaway till we hit 50 subs. 
Um, help us reach 50 subs. That way you have a chance to win. Remember, you can't win unless you're publicly subscribed because I can't see your name if you're not publicly subscribed. Um, so I think we're like maybe like 10 or 11 people away. So yeah, make sure you share and like and check out other giveaway videos. Um, I might mention the giveaway in, in another video later on, probably this weekend. Um, it's just it's kind of old to always not constantly repeat the giveaway. So yeah, check those videos out. And uh, this is PSA, is it worth it? Thanks, bye.